Now these are some adorable enameled plates that I didn't even know we had. Perfect, it's perfect for camping. Good morning and welcome to another day and another adventure because we are going on a very unplanned trip to Sweden to go see a house that we might want to buy and it's all very exciting and a bit nerve-wracking <laughs> but I am feeling optimistic because there's a lot of potential so yeah let's go check out this house but first though I need to pack the car <laughs> Rogier is at work so I'm trying to make a cozy, snuggly and very warm bed because right now it's still below zero at night in the area that we are going to drive to. Now the last couple of houses weren't houses that we went to because we had serious intentions of buying any of them. It was just more of a little holiday and you know we like to snoop around old houses so that's what we did. Although I do have to say that the mansion, the frozen mansion, got us talking about actually buying the thing. <laughs> but we decided against it because it was just too much. And also the area was completely wrong. It's not the area that we want to live in. The project was way too big. So it was more conversation like, we wish, we wish we were 20 years younger and we had a couple of millions of euros. <laughs> but you know, we aren't 20 years younger and although we do have a bit of money, millions, we don't. So anyway, <laughs> all of this was just more for fun right now though. This trip is serious. <laughs> So this is fuel for cooking, salt, soap, lamp. Hey. <laughs> Ricky. Are you excited too about moving to a different country? Oh, I can't focus. <laughs> it's uh, really bad, my focus. Um, a little mixing bowl. Lighters, very important. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Right now this feels so peaceful that I almost want to cry. Yesterday we arrived here about 4 o'clock in the night. navigation just drove us here we don't know why though <laughs> because it's an abandoned little house so now that we are here let's go take a look oh it's very windy by the way very windy can you hear me huh? oh Ooh. 
Oh, that's better. <sighs> Look, it's an adorable little drawer. <sighs> Look at all of the little compartments. And there are also all kinds of pieces of the cabinet drawers here that are supposed to go in there. There's one in the hallway and there's another one over here. Do you see? Yeah. And another one over here. Oh, and over there. The drawers are everywhere. Oh, there are newspapers in it. Now, what's the date? Oh, this is not that old. It's in color. Come in, come in. For a nice cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very tiny house. Yes, it is. And there's also a barn over there behind the fruit trees. I love making these abandoned houses videos. Oh. Hmm? Hmm. Tray on the floor. We have a little kitchen. Is there a upstairs? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the wind. It's a bit windy. Inside. Yeah, it's just a bit stormy. Look at these. So windy that I can't keep my camera still. It yeah, do you think that this is Teenagers yeah. just destroying things. Yeah. Look, there's a part of a chair too. You can't eat above and over. Nee? Nee. Oh, you can't go upstairs, Rogier said, because no. it's. Um, I will take a look. This is a little storage pantry space. All kinds of little stuff. Little things. This could be a really nice house for a really nice single person. Oh, this one I like, it's blue. You can put these into the laundry machine. Oh, this is a really nice one. I want to have this. No, I'm not joking, I'm serious. Like who's going to do something with this? It's just going to destroy the environment because there's plastic in it. Anyway, it's cute. Cute, cute. Oh, whoop. Oh! This is a beautiful little door. The stairs look okay. Huh? Huh? There's a very dark little room over there. And a very dark little room over here. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, it's it's doing this. Yeah. Oh, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, I'm not going to walk in here because I. Oh, oh, that's nasty too. Why would you put something like that on the wall? Hey, but look at the view. <laughs> well, it's actually not all that beautiful. It's not the most idyllic area, this area that we are in right now. Okay, I'm leaving the rock. I'm leaving the rock. Okay, okay, I'm leaving the rock. Wow, I always love the fruit trees that they have. There are actually two barns. One barn and another barn. Everything is just broken. As in, people broke it. It's just such a shame. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> oh. oh, it's so cold. There are stairs going up, but it's not very accessible. And lots of metal gates. 
and all kinds of stuff. Is it an outhouse? Yeah? Oh, it's a very, very romantic. Mm. I think this is a former chicken coop, maybe. Okay, so after a long drive we arrived at the second very lonely and desolate place. A farmhouse in the middle of the fields. And this is not the house that we decided to drive to Sweden for, but just a property that we decided to check out along the way. It is not for sale yet, but it will be very soon. And it definitely has potential. The real estate agent had no time on such a short notice to show us the inside and most of the buildings are locked but he gave us permission to have a little look around the property so that's what we are going to do. Okay so this is the house. It's not the most beautiful house. It's uh, a bit strange but it's not bad. Uh, so yeah and then there's another little house over here next to it. And everything is closed off by the way, we can't go in. And another one over there. Behind the house there are little outbuildings too. I really love these windows. It's so beautiful. And then over here behind the house, there's a little building over there and another one over here. It's starting to rain. It's a very overgrown garden. Now this tiny house is actually open, so let's go take a little sneak peek. Over here we have the tiniest ladder going up. <laughs> How sturdy is this? Very sturdy. It's very dark. So I don't know if we can see something. Oh, there's a beautiful basket. Do you see it? Behind the very old door there's a bit of a wood stash. Lots of it. Some sort of a fireplace with an oven and a very big cooking pot. A saw. Oh, so yeah, it's a, a very tiny little house. Hmm? It is definitely a very desolate, very windy and very lonely place to live. Beautiful, but lonely. Now this is some sort of a chicken coop, I think. Huh? A really old stone floor, that's something that I really like. Okay, so let's go have a little sneak peek into the barn. There was an owl, a really big one. And I don't know if you saw it, it was beautiful. <laughs> oh, and 
it went out. <laughs> Over here we have the cow shed part of the barn. <laughs> oh, this is another outhouse. <laughs> oh, honey, can you open the outhouse for me, please? Some new spectacles. Yes, indeed. It's a little bit stuck. Oh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> we are just going to leave it. I can... Oh, it smells great. Huh? It smells great. It smells great? Yes, it's a little bit uh, crooked, but you know. And there are little curtains too. That's just to add to the ambiance. There are just wood piles everywhere in every single building. Which, you know, it makes sense because it's freezing up here. Up here, in here, around here. I do like this little place. It's not for us, but I do like it. Just like I said before, it's very lonely. Huh? Yeah. 30 euros he paid for these glasses. It's ridiculous. <laughs> In the benzene station. Oh. Yeah, you know, I like to get rubbed. Rubbed? Yes. From your money, eh? Yes, I like to get rubbed. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it's very late and we are at this house that we were planning to go see and we immediately decided that this is not going to be for us. <laughs> so we are probably going to change the plan and then go somewhere else and not to the viewing tomorrow. I mean... <laughs> It is very beautiful, but the road, well here, it's so busy. There are so many cars on this road and it's so, so close to the house. It is just like being in the Netherlands. There is just noise everywhere. I don't like it. It's uh, 10 minutes from a really big city and a really big shopping mall. It's just crowded, crowded. Neighbors across the street. I mean, the house is amazing. I would buy this in a blink. The little house over there too. So adorable, so cute. It is a very beautiful house. It's big. It's very boring on the inside though. No character whatsoever. Another one bites the dust. Yes, well, it's a good thing that we came here because there is something that we are considering. And if we are not going to do the viewing, we are going to have time for something else. Coming up next week. <laughs> What's the plan? Oh, shit. Should have brought snow boots. <laughs> and the owner said, just go in through the window and then you are going to be fine. Oh, it's really tight. Be careful. My elderly husband. Oh, it smells like my grandma. I fell through the floor and almost died. 